There you go. Look at that. Oh, make sure your bar's up though. This guy right here. There we go. And then now hit the play button. There you go. And that's how you do it. <laughs> Training someone brand new. Well, not sure how much longer I can handle this insomnia. And by insomnia, I don't actually mean that I don't fall asleep. I do fall asleep, but it's usually for only about 15-20 minute intervals. And within those 15-20 minute intervals, it's usually jam-packed with ridiculous dreams, scenarios, and just stress. And so I wake up even more exhausted than when I fell asleep. And so, I want to share a few of these dreams with you. So the first dream that I had last night is not an uncommon one for me, but so we had just finished doing an isotopes game and it was just me up in the booth for some reason, I didn't have an assistant director. And it was just one of those things where we finished the game and I suddenly realized that we did not play a single replay that entire game, nor did I cut any highlights for posting online to the PCL. And so I was in a panic trying to figure out how I can get these highlights now because I didn't record anything onto the replay computer and I went down to the field and was talking to like people down on the field for some reason and then I was running back up to the you know upstairs and all sorts of different trying to find different solutions and not being able to find any so I was just panicking about that and this was actually a two-parter because in a later dream that last night there was a part where I was at my aunt's house for some reason and I don't really know what was going on there. There was like random people there, like my uncle was there and I haven't seen him in a long time since they divorced, but there was a whole bunch of different people there and I was trying to figure out what was going on and then all of a sudden I had a panic moment where I was just like, wait a minute, I have to be at Isotopes like 15 minutes ago. And so I'm trying to like pack everything up and get everything, you know, packed up so I can go back to Albuquerque to go do the isotopes game and of course San Antonio New Mexico where my aunt's house is is like an hour and a half away from Albuquerque so I was having one of those panic moments it was just ridiculous another one of my dreams that I had last night which was another stress dream was I was at like this party and I want to say it was like it was like a party slash gathering and there was like a couple of my friends there that I know and uh, like Mark Mark was there and uh, basically Mark was doing like some sort of journalism project. I don't even know what he was doing, but he needed to like get a picture of like me and this one other person, you know, for his project. And of course I told him, I said, well, leave it up to her, you know, if she wants to, you know, do these pictures, you know, and he was just like, okay. So we asked her and she's like, yeah, sure, fine. Like we'll do these pictures. But then the whole rest of the dream is she keeps running away like, upset about something and of course I keep trying to track her down and talk to her and be like what's wrong like what's going on and she would tell me what's wrong and I'm like oh okay well let's go back to the party and then we'll go back and then all of a sudden she'll disappear again and everyone will be like where is she and I'm like I don't know so I go find her again and she's in a freak out and one of the things that she was freaking out about is that in this dream apparently she was still taking classes like at UNM or something like that and that she was upset because her ex-boyfriend was like in every single one of her classes and I keep trying to be like, oh, it's gonna be okay, it's all right, it's all right, and maybe it won't be so bad. And the part that was really stressful was there were moments where I would be talking to her, something would happen to the like left of me or behind me and I would turn around to see what it was and by the time I turned back, she'd be gone again. And then I'd be like, well, crap, where the hell did she go? And so that was a stressful dream, just trying to constantly track her down to figure out what was going on with her. It was so annoying and uh, finally the third dream that I had last night kind of took place in the same you know facility as the dream from the second place where the party was going on but this time it was like a little bit different where it was just abnormal there were people in costumes there was like weird random looking people I say random looking people as in like in my dream I knew they were human but they walked and were really weird like moving around and then the whole like bottom floor of this facility that we were in was like a video game like there were certain platforms you could stand on there were other ones that one you couldn't stand on and then there was fucking lava underneath everything and all I remember 
is that on the top floor, everything was relatively normal. There was like a bed, there was like a living room. It was just like a big open room with like all the different things that you would need for living. And my cats were up there, Roxy and Sydney. And I was like trying to find them, like walking around, looking for them, picking them up and, you know, finding them. I was like, okay, they're good. And then I slowly started to realize that the ground was crumbling on the top floor. And of course, what's below it, you know, on the bottom floor, lava. So I was like in a panic being like, shit, I don't want my cats to fall through this and fall into the lava pit below. And so it was more of a conundrum trying to figure out, okay, so do I just punch the holes in the ground now so that, you know, the cats can obviously see there's a hole there. Cause you know, if I don't do that, they're going to walk on the place that's crumbling and then it'll crumble and they'll unexpectedly fall through. So maybe I should just punch the holes now so that they can see it. And then of course this gets interrupted by a group of random people in costumes who stop me telling me that they don't want me to see their mother. And I don't know what the hell that meant, but then my alarm went off and I woke up. <laughs> I was like, these dreams are ridiculous. They're stressful. They tire me out even more. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm just like dead. I feel like I didn't sleep at all the entire night, but hey, if you have any interpretation of my dreams, uh, feel free to comment down below and let me know. But yeah, it's kind of ridiculous. Okay, that dream was completely out of left field. Came home, took a short nap, and the freaking dream that I took seemed to take place over the course of like an entire evening. Just like hours upon hours. There was hanging out with people, hanging out with other people, other people showed up, there was hanging out with like this big old long lead up. And then the conclusion was just like so random to the point where as soon as like on cue as soon as the main thing happened i just like sprung awake and was just like completely re-energized i was no longer tired from when i went to bed earlier i've never had a nap like that before that was nuts if you want to know more about the dream just ask me later <laughs> can't dream if you can't fall asleep How about driving around with the family, seeing Jeff Goldblum in a very fancy car driving alongside of us, trying to do impressions of Jeff Goldblum, seeing a stunt driver car drive up the side of the World Trade One tower. Uh, what other weird nonsense happened in the dreams last night? Last night was just weird. A lot of jumbled together stuff. I think there was some World of War. Oh yeah, World of Warcraft stuff was in there, flying around on dragons and all sorts of weird stuff. But yep. Just another crazy night. Let's see. World War III, hanging out near pools, saving praying mantises from drowning in the pool. And interestingly enough, uh, I had no idea that Shaylin was coming into town this week, and last night I had a dream that she was in town. So, my predictive mind, yet again at work. So yeah, that just gives you a little bit of a taste of what kind of dreams I have. I mean, as you can see, I just woke up this morning on Sunday. Hair's still a mess, glasses are on, so that's why I look like this. Um, but yeah, so uh, next week I'm probably actually gonna go into a little more detail on one of the stories I've been writing. A lot of you guys actually know about it because I've brought it up several times, but I started writing it way back when I was first entering college and you know, I've been writing it ever since. And uh, it's basically what would happen with a group of friends, teenage friends, with all the drama and craziness that goes on between them, what would happen if they all had special abilities and powers too? It's not really a superhero kind of thing because there's no like saving the world or anything like that. It's just stuff going on between them. And so I'm gonna go into a little more detail about that story and who it involves and all that kind of stuff. But until then, I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you next time.